CCTV footage shows the moment a shopkeeper was robbed of hundreds of pounds after a thief had apparently put him in a trance. The hypnotist criminal walked into the shop in North London and can be seen touching the owner on the arm. Within a few seconds, the shopkeeper appears to freeze and be spellbound. Throughout the entire robbery, which only took 50 seconds, the thief can be seen talking and touching the man in a bizarre sequence of moves. The suspect continues to distract the shopkeeper as he goes through his pockets twice and steals the day's takings. It's only when the crook leaves the man realises what's happened. This is the off-licence in North London where the thief struck. Owners Aziz Haider and his wife say he used intrusive gestures and an elaborate story to throw Mr Haider off guard. I tried to concentrate what he was saying. It was just my wife breaking like that in, in action. So I said, what is he saying? And suddenly, I noticed that my money is gone. Looking at this surveillance video of a local supermarket in Italy, you may not notice anything out of the ordinary. But have a closer look at this man. Italian police say he appears to hypnotize a cashier before stealing money from her register. According to reports, the man asked the cashier for change. When she opened her register, he allegedly proceeded to hypnotize her into handing over the money. He then calmly leaves the supermarket. When the cashier counted the money in her register at the end of her shift, she discovered more than a thousand dollars missing. When asked about the incident, she said, It was very strange. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press. First of all, Chris has to believe that the gun that he has in his possession is a real gun and loaded with live bullets. Inspired by Serhan Serhan's claim that he has no memory of murdering Robert Kennedy, Darren sets out to hypnotize one young man into wanting to murder a celebrity. After selecting Chris as his victim, or should that be perpetrator, Darren begins with multiple hypnosis sessions, setting up various triggers to ensure Chris's total compliance. Has the name the of the is Stephen Fry. And the French have absolutely no interest. He then gives him a gun, points to Stephen Fry, and Chris calmly fires. Of course, the weapon's fake, but the power that Darren clearly wields is very scary stuff. Remember that bit? No. <laughs> yes, at the moment you will have no memory of this at all, but you just assassinated a national treasure. <laughs> yes, yeah, you shot me. This morning, shocking new video of an Ohio divorce attorney hypnotizing a female client so that he could take advantage of her. Every part of you, Rosalie. One, two, three, four. Watch as 59-year-old Michael Fine puts the woman into a trance without her knowledge or consent, saying it's just a breathing exercise. Let's take a deep breath. But Fine uses his hypnosis to make the woman walk over to the couch where he initiates a sexual encounter. Your entire body is a vessel of pleasure. Before awakening her and acting like nothing ever happened. Okay, so we have some papers to go over. That's when police bust in and nab him. Police officers, step over here. Yes, sir. The video, part of a 2014 sting operation. The woman alerting authorities after noticing her clothing would be disheveled after their appointments. Now, Fine is serving 12 years in prison for hypnotizing six female clients after pleading guilty to five counts of kidnapping and one count of attempted kidnapping, all with a sexual motivation specification. It could be up to 25 women that he did this to. Only six he pled guilty to. So I shall exploit my anonymity and try some daylight robbery in the financial capital of the world with a wallet full of blank paper. This is a little cheeky. Hello, very good. good. I'm kind of interested in maybe uh, one of these bands down here. These are platinum, are they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So, can you tell me about it? So it's. This is a platinum uh, ring with a platinum band. Forty-five hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, fantastic. Well, I will take that as it is. I'll give you cash for that if that's okay. Thank you. All right. Great, lovely. I'll let you box that up. Thank you very much. It's the nearest subway here. Just on the corner down there. So is that north or south that way? 
Oh, north no. West. That's west that that's way. West. Okay, so that's right north up there. I've been thinking the wrong way. Thank yeah, I was a bit intimidated about using the uh, subways here, but my friend just said, take it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I was a bit intimidated about that, but that's great. So straight down there, that way down on this corner? Uh, yep. That way on that, straight down there. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, goodbye. going to try to go get the attention of these cops. Meanwhile, I'm going to drive around and try to, you know, speed a little bit, burn a couple of stop signs. Like I said, nothing too dangerous. And I mean, it needs to be dangerous enough for the cop to want to stop me, but not dangerous so that I'm not endangering anyone else. And hopefully we'll get the attention of a cop. Yeah, he's there. He was? Sean? Yeah. Is he I don't know if he's, I don't know if he caught me though. Oh, is he coming? He's yeah, coming? he's good. He's good. He's good. You got it? Oh camera. shit, okay. Hide the camera, hide the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Monsieur, vous arrête pour le stop que vous avez pas fait juste avant. Vous avez complètement passé devant. I'm sorry, vous you speak English? Tout. You speak English? Yes, I speak English. Uh, okay, good, then you can help me. I really need to know where the closest gas station is, please. The closest gas station? Yeah. Is that why you burn the stop sign just ahead at about twice the speed limit, sir? Oh, that, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. But you know what? If we just forget that for just a second, we'll get right back to it. But if we could just forget it, we'll get right back to it. If you could just tell me where the closest gas station is, please. The closest gas station, you just follow up there. At the end of the street, you turn right. Turn it's right. the main street. On your right, there's a Petro Canada, something like that at the right. You know, it's funny because I knew that, but it's as if I just forgot. It's like, you know, sometimes you get up and you go somewhere to do something and it's as if you just forget the reason you're there. You don't know if you remember to forget or forget to remember. It's just as if it just slips from your mind, you know? But it's good that I found you because now I know where it is and I can go. I can just yeah. go. Yeah. Thank yeah. It's there. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't look at it. He's, he's kind of confused. He's, he's just standing there looking. Yes. Don't shh, don't say anything. Don't say. I'm just gonna turn here. Oh. Are you serious? Did you see him? Dude, did you see him? He was like totally confused, man. He completely forgot. But I don't claim that this is something that I can do every time with success. In fact, here's the proof. As you can see over here, I've got a ticket, hundred fifty-one dollars right there. But I do have quite the collection of these, uh, so that's just proof that this doesn't work every time. Right, yeah. here's what I want you to do. We'll do a couple more races. Yeah. Each time, you bet on the dog you're sure is going to lose. Okay, no problem. Right? Right, let's go and collect our losing. Yes. You've just got to trust me and don't be nervous about it. This will work. It will work because you'll believe that it will work. Okay. You look her right in the eye. Yeah. You hand her the ticket mm -hmm. and you say, this is the winning ticket. And you just believe that from the bottom of your soul. This is the winning ticket. This one's not a winner. Not a winner? This is the dog you're looking for. Try again. You may have misread it. Fantastic. Good growth. Yeah. Can you go? 90, 100, 90. Thank Sorry. you very much. Thank, you. Thank you. you. Is it legal? No, no, <laughs> no idea. Hey, Ivan, I was just coming by to say goodbye to everybody. Sleep. Let your entire body relax from the top of your head all the way down. Now, Ivan, there is a bad guy downstairs. Ivan's been instructed to take a gun out of a red backpack, walk over to a velvet rope line, and wait for the dignitary to emerge. Then, execute. But as soon as you do it, you simply completely, totally forget that it ever happened. Open your eyes, sit up in your chair. Good, excellent, feeling really good. The experiment is a success. Tom wakes Ivan from his trance. On the count of five, I'll say fully refreshed, open your eyes and wake him. One, two, three, four, five, fully refreshed. Do you have any recollection of uh, what you just did? No. Tom hypnotized you 
and you walked up to a man, took a gun out of a backpack, and shot him three times. I don't want you to be upset about this. This was part of the experiment. It was under hypnosis. You didn't shoot him with a real gun. It was an airsoft gun. Stunt man, everything just set up. Again, this was part of the show. It was an experiment. Okay. I think we have some strong evidence that it's possible that people can be brainwashed. <laughs>